Hello people. So uh, I'm doing my Halloween video costume vlogging thing. This is this is like video one. Um, I'm working on the shoulder armor. I'm only doing one side of shoulder armor and as you can see I'm, I'm making progress. Um, I tried a, oh, where is it? Over here. Hang on. Hang on. All right. So I started off with just like, uh, I was doing a lot of online research to see what's what. I started off with, I'm trying to figure out what way it goes. This. And that, that wasn't too bad, but it wasn't sitting right. And it's like two layers. So um, then I did a little research and I found three part shoulder armor thingy and uh, duct tape and all that together. And that's what we have so far so I'm happy with it so far um, it needs to be a little bit bigger but the material I'm using is an old yoga type mat because the dog decided to get to it the other day so these are the four dollar leather pants that I brought at the second hand store they are soft leather and they have an artificial leather in the kind of uh, flare of the leg so I'm going to cut them up and use all the leather so this is the dress uh, top thing that I got for $4 also, and this is going to be turned into a vest. You'll see how it comes along. But uh, yeah, it started off as a dress, and it was kind of sad to cut it up because it was decent. It was made out of a denim type material, but uh, yeah, I altered that, and you'll see the results very, very soon. So this was attempt number one on the shoulder armor. I have used the yoga mat foam and I've kind of cut a uh, V out of it. And as you can see, the tape I've joined it together so it can get a bit of a, uh, uh, a shape to it to sit over the shoulder. And uh, I've pegged the leather on to see how it would sit. But attempt number one, and you'll see why it is attempt number one soon. Hello, good evening, good day, whatever. Um, so I've been working on my uh, shoulder armor thing for a few days now, a um, little bit uh, in the evenings and stuff like that. But uh, the foam that I was using can't go through the sewing machine. So um, I ended up doing it by hand, but it's not working how I wanted it because um, the leather got sewn on too tight and it's kind of yeah so um i am coming up with a new design a new idea i'm going to cut this leather off and start again so in theory the idea worked well but i would have liked to be able to sew it with the sewing machine instead of by hand but we'll we'll get there well we're gonna gonna try a new idea but yeah i thought i'd update you guys on that so after many many trials and errors i finally have myself one shoulder armor thing um, I went back to my old traditional way of doing things with just scraps of leather layered um, and it worked that's the top layer of the shoulder I can't really do it with one hand but uh, uh, it kind of like sits like that uh huh. We get it. Yep. That's how how roughly it sits. Um, I'll show you better photos later. But that is that is that done. It's taken two days of fucking around with like uh, an old yoga mat and cardboard and everything to just stick with leather. It's just easier. Anyway, so that is done. Now I'm on to the second part of that, and then I can start on the vest top thing. So, yay for progress. Hello people, okay hopefully this camera is focusing on me no matter what. Anyway, um, I am working on the uh, vest top thing for my cosplay, uh, Wasteland Survival, Apocalypse Survival, whatever kind of style. But I'm also doing it so it's something I could wear whenever because, you know, why not? Um, the lighting in this house sucks. So um, I'm doing the best I can, but uh, I'm going to show you the progress. I've pinned it all together. So uh, hopefully this works. Okay. Hopefully you can see all that. I don't know. You've got a uh, leather strap thingies that are going to be like tighter and sewn on. And um, yep, yeah, no, we'll see eventually if it works or not. Um, yeah, just scraps of 
camo and whatever else I had laying around. Um, this pin's stabbing me everywhere, so that's not cool. But um, it's going to have a little tabby bit that kind of holds closed. But also I'm hoping the zip can work if I needed it to. Um, I'm still working out like alterations and stuff. But yes, that's what I have so far. I also have the uh, shoulder armor, whatever you want to call it, that I made the other day. It's in two parts. It's not finished yet. I still need to put strap on and everything. I'm working out how that's going to go. Ow. Pin. But, uh, in theory, it should sit like... Hang on. Alright, so it uh, sits basically like that. Can we see that? I bloody hope we can see it. Because I'm um, this whole bad camera angle is not good but anyway um it sits like that kind of the top one sits up higher than the bottom one and yeah so that is the uh outfit coming together slightly um yeah hey, what's today today's thursday the 2020 20 work 26th I've got five days before Halloween, so I've got to make sure all this is ready, but coming along nicely, I think. Hey guys, so just a quick update on my uh, cosplay thing. Um, I've been working on it um, in the afternoon and evening last few days, and I've broken pretty much every single sewing needle I have in the house. I found a few backups, but uh, I've got one left, and I'm too scared to use that. Actually, I think I even broke that one. Um, Can we see it? It's still alive. Barely. Can we can we even see that? Where am I looking? Yeah, we can see it. Right there. So uh yeah, um that that's the final sewing machine needle and I don't want to break it. So I'm I'm not using that one. Um I will show you what I have now done. And I'll be using this nice little owl 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 whatever you want to call it to finish off my uh, the final I've got to add the straps and attach the buckles and then I think that's it I fucking hope that's it anyway I'll show you everything ready alrighty so so far we have the overall vest shape happened and is fine and worked well um, the straps are going to be just the thin, the soft leather um, crisscross design if it wants to function in a display to show you guys. But it's going to be zigzaggy, oh no, it's not zigzag, cross, and then there's going to be another one there. Focus, please focus. Fuck a focus. Alright, so that one goes from there, and that strap's going to kind of sit on the outer part of the shoulder. Well, that one's going to be like up near the neck part of the shoulder, you know, yeah. Um, I have to use the owl to hand sew all of that. I don't know if this is going to work out well on the camera or with the lighting. I managed to sew this part, but it didn't let me do this part, as you can kind of see my finger through there. There. So um, I'll be hand sewing that. Um, little crosses is what I've been using to hand sew. Um, I had to hand sew that and that. And. Shuffle on down here. Um, I hand sewed that. I think I will add one more cross on that side to make sure it's set. And this uh, little one here. He got done by the machine. I'm hoping he's okay so I don't have to hand sew him, but I may do that anyway. It is a grungy, uh, post-apocalyptic looking thing, so it's okay luckily. Yeah, I've got the pocket on there too. And I've just got to do these bits here, which will uh, attach, and they're going to have holes in the middle of them, onto these, which is the same as my watch strap. Excellent, wonderful, okay. And I've only got tomorrow and then I'm, I'm running out of days. But yeah. 
and I also have my shoulder strappy thing that um, if you can see under here I tacked the two pieces together so they don't move you can't see that I can see that though and um, it's gonna have like an overall buckle thing that I need to sew on I also need to sew this side on fuck the sewing machine piece of shit okay guys so uh, hopefully you uh, Hopefully you can see all that. Um, yeah, it's kind of bright out here. My uh, as we can let's turn around here. My green screen fell down, so whatever. I, I gave up using it. Hopefully, the sounds working on this too. It's it's focusing in on like all the not things that shouldn't be focused in on. But uh, yeah, my Halloween. I'm happy with how it turned out. It took long enough. Uh, so a machine needle kept breaking, but it is what it is. So um, I've taken a heap of photos, uh, killed my phone battery with the whole remote control Canon app thing. But anyway, um, I'm going to go out the front now and wait for trick-or-treaters. So happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs>